So we're part of the crazy group of people that purchase a sailboat without any sailing experience. We knew it was an essential part of the process to go and test the waters and have a few days holiday on a catamaran. Did our idealistic view of living on a boat in any way match the reality of it all? It was a big test to see if we'd made a good decision or if we needed to cancel our order rather quickly. We live on the Gold Coast, so getting up to the Whitsundays was a short plane trip up north to Airlie Beach. 8 a.m. flight to Proserpine. Think we should get some sweeties for the plane? Yeah! I might step on and run around with the kids. Yeah. Thank you. We chose to charter this boat because it's the same company that are making our boat. This is Fountain Peugeot Lucia 40 foot. The boat that we've purchased is the uh, Tanner version, which is a 47 foot catamaran. Our boat will be a little bit larger than this. We still haven't seen the model that we've purchased. We've now seen the 40 foot and the 45 foot version. This boat has four cabins. We had an option um, to either do a five double cabin and five bathroom option, but we went for the one owner's suite and bathroom, and on the other side is a two double cabin and two bathrooms. Provisioning. Yeah, we're not shopping. No, we're not shopping. It's really just shopping. Do you like the boat? Mm -hmm. Do you like the boat? Mm -hmm. No. No internet. It's the only thing I'll ever use and then it's gone. Despite the kids' shock at not having access to the internet, we were all ready to go sailing. Tomorrow morning we would get the full briefing of the boat, go through the upcoming weather forecast and create a passage plan. This place to go tonight would be Nara Inlet. Yep. It took a good few hours to go through the briefing, but this was really valuable, especially to us as we were new to sailing. This involved going through the weather forecast for the upcoming days and making a passage plan. We were assisted with local knowledge on where the best spots were to go for our time frame, where we should stay overnight, any hazards or things that we needed to look out for. Having a local guide us through this meant we got the best out of our three night charter and we knew where was safe to venture. See that'll get you to Nara, it'll get you to either Tongue or here or Chalkies, get you around the top here in the Stonehaven and back. Get you right around. So it'll be about two and a half hours to get us out to Nara. How long will it take us to get? Yeah, it'll be two and see one of each one of these, see 10 to 15, that's yeah. five nautical miles. Okay. Alright, so you can just do it roughly, you know, five. That's about ten miles. So it'll be a two hour run from okay. Nara to there. Alright. Alright, when you go up the top, alright, just say you were in tongue, five, ten, around three and a half hours. Okay. We then got a very detailed walk over the boat, just getting to know all of the systems from how to use the toilets, the radio, the gas, the anchor, and how to recharge the batteries. Everything was really well organized and explained to us. Here, put this one here, and that's your main, okay? Now the wrap a winch, always put it there, it spins that way. Put it on the same way it spins, so it doesn't go the other way. 
you want to put it on the same way. So just clockwise, that's what you got to remember. Put two, three wraps around it. See, that's your self-tailor. So you put it on the self-tailor and through here. All right, and that way nobody has to tail. It'll just tail itself. Just always see with a winch, don't grab it like that if you're undoing it. Because what'll happen is, you got it like that, bang. All right, and you end up with a finger that doesn't straighten like that. Oh no. Life jackets. Not much confidence in your new skippers. You've both got your life jackets on. <laughs> this is why both people are fit, because they have to do stuff like this. They stayed on board and showed us how to pick up a mooring ball, how to anchor and how to use the sails. So it was really valuable first morning, almost like a sailing lesson as we learned how to use their boat properly. Then we were left to go and explore and we headed straight to Nara Inlet. This is likely going to be our biggest challenge sailing because both James and I get really seasick. Feeling any better? My zip. Oh. I don't sign. Very great. Hey, you're on the kid's side. Hey, I'm the kid's side. Now you have to start the engine before I untie, just in case it doesn't start and we're all drifting away. <laughs> A bit more rev on the handle. All right, try the choke then. That's the one. Oh, mum's a rev head. Um, I think we're tilting a bit. Yeah, that's all right. Should I swap sides? Maybe just. Put it in neutral. Is that neutral? That's neutral. How do I get that rope? Where's the rope coming from in You can just put your hand in and grab it. What's that come from? I thought I saw a bit of rope. Where has it come from? Did you, when you untied, did you not put the rope in the boat? Yeah, I did. I threw it in. I've got it on video so we can check. <laughs> Put on those shades. Oh, you did, did ya? Yeah, we'll, check, we'll check the video before I start arguing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, is that how it happened? And I think my ball went down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super mum and dad! Mummy! Oh, I swim it! Go on then. I'm Look, behind you. I swim it. Wanna hold my hand?
What happened to the kids got life jackets on in the tender? <laughs> Second tender ride. And I don't have their life jackets on. We'll be fine. Yeah, it's about an hour. It's not. Ten minutes. Five minutes, yeah. Just like sailing though, you've got to look where you're going. Literally gonna go to the next boat to see who's got food. Yeah.
<laughs> Love to see that. Sure. You got this, James. Your feet are supposed to be side by side. Don't fall. Anything that's going on, right? Yes. Nothing changes, you still have to do the washing up at night. Sure. And look how good you are at it. Oh, I'm so good. So... That's why I do it so much. Just make sure that I don't lose or forget how to do it. <laughs> what are we doing today, George? Stop. Leaving Whitehaven Beach and we're going to True wind speed, three and a half knots sailing. I think we're in neutral, so if I pull that, yeah, we are. Four. Some mooring balls. I can't 
see what the colour, you know how like there's green, red and yellow? Yeah, there's blue ones, but you can see out the front of their birds. I can't, they look like white. Yeah. Oh, there's a blue one. first mooring ball we've done on our own. What do you think George? No. Like a 5 out of 10? <laughs> no, not the first one. Well the other one we have help with someone telling us what to do. That's the first one we've done on our own. Just good. We just have to wait for the wind to blow us around now. So what we're going to do now George is have some lunch get make sure we've got our swimmers on and our sunscreen on and then we're going to go and explore no we can that, that would be fun and snorkel because there's lots of um like turtles and fish to explore okay what type of fish i don't know we'll have to go and find them uh don't know there's gonna be sharks isn't there Six in the morning. It's really flat today. This crazy woman <laughs> going for a pedal board. Come on. Hey. It's just so quiet. Apart from the sound of the kids playing Minecraft. <laughs> Well, Should be able to undo the. You want to undo this? Yeah. Do you know how to do it? Grab the black bag, pull it. Excuse me. I said shoot. Oh shoot. <laughs>
this is beautiful. You can just see the reef right there. husband this morning? Good. Back to the real world today. Where are we? That's Australia. Did you forget Tasmania? <laughs> Did you forget Tasmania? I was right there. <laughs> <laughs> I highly recommend if you're thinking of buying a catamaran, especially if you have kids, just go and book a holiday on one to see how everyone manages. For us, this was a great introduction to life on the water and got us really excited for our new boat. We're currently living on board our catamaran and I have more videos coming soon on how we packed up and plan to get ready for the liveaboard lifestyle. So don't forget, like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.